Venezuela. Venezuela is dressed as Guaixia, the goddess protects our nation, who often takes the form of blue butterfly. This version was created using thousands of crystals in different shapes and colors. เทพีดาผู้พิทักษ์แห่งธรรมชาติที่มักจะอยู่ในรูปของผีเสื้อสีฟ้าชุดประจำชาติของเธอประดับประดาวด้วยคริสตัลนักขันชนิดที่มีร
thanks to the example for my mother who gave me the valor for in my in my family he thought and beat the cancer in a country where the people suffer the, co the consequence do don't feel the medicine i am here so proud to shout to the world that we venezuelans are warriors of love Catherine cat island welcome back to miss universe live from bangkok the field of 20 contestants is about to be cut in half. The official accounting firm of Ernst & Young have verified these results. It's time to reveal our top 10. Earning the third spot is... Venezuela! Soy estudiante del quinto semestre de Derecho. Decidí estudiar Derecho porque siempre me ha llamado la atención esta carrera. Creo que es una carrera que me puede ayudar a tener un alcance, a aportar algo a mi país, a aportar algo a las personas que más lo necesitan hoy en día. Mi familia es muy grande, repleta de mujeres y de unos chiquitos que alegran nuestras vidas. Todos los fines de semana mi abuela hacía empanadas. Yo, ¿cómo estás? Mis tías y yo la ayudábamos a hacer y vender las empanadas. Ellas me enseñaron que el trabajo es lo que más nos dignifica y que a pesar de las adversidades podemos salir, salir adelante. Venezuela. Just moments away from the swimsuit round. I know, that is my absolute favorite. And this year, all of our contestants' swimsuits were designed by Thailand's own princess, Siri Wan Not Worry. And the princess has been making some serious waves in the fashion world. Lou, you loving, loving the, the new swimsuits? swimsuits? We love yes. the color, and the girls love the way they move when they're walking in them. All right, let's get to it, Steve. Well, our top ten have been revealed, and now it's time for them to take the stage. At this point in the game, there's no room for mistakes. Ladies and gentlemen, the swimsuit competition begins right now. Venezuela! Wow, her turns have always been incredible. She's a perfectionist. She came with a plan, and every move she does is well thought out and executed. Well, this is it. The last chance for our 10 finalists to make a huge impression with our selection committee. It's the evening gown competition. Venezuela. Wow, this is a high impact, nude illusion look. Very glamorous, beautiful with her skin tone. A crowd favorite here. She's able to walk in this too with a nice sense of ease. Uh, and it's got that great silhouette. This is a really winning look for Miss Venezuela. Welcome back to Miss Universe. These finalists have all shown they have the drive and determination to make it to the top 10. But after swimsuit and evening gown, 10 becomes five. The selection committee has spoken and I have the results right here. Six women are still hoping to advance to the next round, but there's only one spot left. Keeping her dream alive is... Venezuela! to our final five. One of these amazing women will become our next Miss Universe. As exciting as it is to make it this far, our contestants have no time to celebrate because right now they face the question. Miss Universe takes on a great responsibility working as a global ambassador. She must be sharp, quick on her feet, and able to communicate with clarity and confidence. Contestants, get ready, because your answers will determine who makes it to the final three. 
Tonight's questions were written by some people who know you very, very well, your fellow contestants. Now, once I read your question, you'll have 30 seconds to deliver your answer. When your time is up, you'll hear this sound. Puerto Rico, Vietnam, and Venezuela will be using an interpreter. Here we go. Puerto Rico, please join me at center stage. How are you? Great. <laughs> well, here's your question. Hundreds of journalists across the world were jailed this year for writing stories that were critical of their governments. Why is freedom of the press important? Cientos de periodistas fueron encarcelados este año por haber hecho reportajes que fueron críticos de sus gobiernos. ¿Por qué usted piensa que es tan importante tener la libertad en la prensa? La prensa está para informarnos. Eh, nos debe mantener al tanto de las cosas importantes que están pasando en el mundo. The press is there to inform us. Their job is to give us the news about what's happening in the world right now. Creo que ellos deben tener total libertad de publicar la realidad de lo que está pasando. They should have total freedom to be able to report exactly what's happening. Sin olvidar nunca que deben ser sensibles y deben tener empatía, porque hay muchas personas que están sufriendo por los problemas que hay en el mundo. Without forgetting that they have to have sympathy because there are a lot of people that are suffering different problems in the world. Capunca. Thank you, Puerto Rico. Vietnam, you're up. How are you? I'm very good and very happy. Thank you very much, Miss Universe. Well, here's your question. The Me Too movement has sparked a global conversation. In response, some have said that the world has become too politically correct. Do you think the Me Too movement has gone too far? Phong trào Me Too đã làm thế giới nói chuyện về nhiều. Em có nghĩ là phòng trào Me Too có nói quá, quá không? À, bản thân em uh, không nói quá Bởi vì khi mà bảo vệ sức khỏe con người Hay bảo vệ làm dục tình dục Bảo vệ con người, bảo vệ phụ nữ Đó là một cái quyền rất lớn She doesn't think that I don't think that it has gone too far Protecting women and women's right Is the right thing to do Con người chúng ta cần được bảo vệ Và trong cuộc sống của chúng ta Cần được tự do và cần được bảo vệ Cảm ơn I need Women need protection and rights. Thank you. Hakun Ka. Thank you, Vietnam. Philippines, it's time. How are you? I'm good, Steve. I can't believe it's top five already. <laughs> well, it's here. Uh, here's your question. Canada recently joined Uruguay as the second nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? I'm for it being used in a medical use, but not so for recreational use. Because I think if people were to argue, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Well, everything is good, but in moderation. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. South Africa, step right up. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, many countries across the world are experiencing an increase in immigration. Do you think countries should limit the number of refugees allowed across their borders? I think that every country should have their own rules and regulations, but for a thriving society and for all of us to stand together we have to understand that we are all human and we all are more alike than we are not so we should be open to loving each other accepting each other doesn't matter where we come from thank you South Africa Venezuela get ready how are you I'm excited well, what would you say to someone who believes that pageants are archaic and against 
the feminist movement. ¿Qué le diría una persona que piensa que los certámenes de belleza son anticuados y que van en contra del movimiento feminista? Hoy en día estamos en una era en la cual hemos avanzado muchísimo. Nowadays we live in an era in which we have advanced greatly. Los certámenes de belleza no son solo de belleza, también son de sensibilidad, de responsabilidad y de corazón. Beauty pageants are not just about beauty, they're about sensitivity and about having a heart. En ellos podemos mostrar que jóvenes como yo podemos lograr alcanzar todas las metas que nos propongamos en el mundo. En beauty pageants we can show that women like me can achieve any dreams that we may have in the world. Thank you, Venezuela. Well, our five finalists, our five finalists have just answered some very difficult questions, and now our selection committee must decide who's still in the running. When we come back, these women will face another elimination, and later it's our final look with a performance by three-time Grammy winner Neo. This is Miss Universe live from Thailand. Welcome back to Miss Universe. Okay, so we just saw contestants sweat it out in the question round. Who do you guys think had the hardest question? I think South Africa had a really difficult question. Yeah, she did. Yeah, and I think Venezuela, too. You know, the question about the whole pageant idea is very topical in this setting. Yeah, but she did a good job. Okay, so now it's time to play the Miss Universe mm -hmm. game. Okay, so we all wrote down our top three picks on a card during the commercial, and now let's each all of us reveal our final three. Lou, you go first. Okay. There we go. Puerto okay, Rico, Puerto Rico, South, South Africa, Africa and, and Venezuela. Venezuela. Carson? Can I say, first of all, that I was shocked that Thailand did not make this top I five. Know. I'm very shocked about that. Here are my top five. Oh, wait, that's the wrong, wrong card. Here are my top five. <laughs> Vietnam, South Africa, Puerto Rico. And I'm South Africa, Philippines, Venezuela. Okay, so we're going to see right. who made the cut. Back to you, Steve. We began this journey with 94 contestants. And now it's down to five. And in a moment, only three finalists will be left standing. Okay, get ready, because here are your final three. The first finalist with a chance to take the Miss Universe crown is... Philippines! Second of three finalists is South Africa. There is only one name left for the other two finalists. Unfortunately, your Miss Universe dream ends tonight. Our final contestant in the top three is Venezuela! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your three finalists. Congratulations, but you three finalists, you have to stay right there where you are because the next round begins right now. It's time for the final word. Now, each contestant will be asked the exact same question. While one contestant answers, the others will be wearing soundproof headphones. You've each got 45 seconds to respond. If you go over time, you'll hear this sound. Venezuela will be using an interpreter. It's time for your final word. South Africa and Venezuela, headphones on. Philippines, please join me.
Congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is very... It's poor and it's very sad and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster, and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. Please remove South Africa's headphones. South. South Africa, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Steve. Here's your question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? Throughout my life, throughout my life, I've been exposed to both those who are privileged and underprivileged. And what I've learned is that we are all human. We all want to be loved, we all want to belong, and we all want to be seen. So we should treat each other that way. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa. Please remove Venezuela's headphones. Venezuela, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, here is your question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? ¿Cuál es la lección más importante que has aprendido en tu vida y cómo aplicarías eso en tu reinado como Miss Universo? Crecí en una familia llena de mujeres. I grew up in a family filled with women. Y cada una de ellas me enseñó algo muy importante. And each one of them taught me something very important. Pero lo que siempre recuerdo es que trabajando, luchando por nuestros sueños. But what I always remembered is that by working hard and chasing for our dreams. Y llenándonos de coraje, fuerza y confianza, podemos lograr todas y cada una de las metas que nos propongamos en esta vida. And by having courage and strength and willingness to, willingness to achieve these dreams, we can achieve anything we want in this lifetime. Y esta noche lo corroboro estando aquí en el Miss Universo. And tonight I'm proving this. I am here at Miss Universe. Thank you, Venezuela. Well, we will see all three of you later for your final look. Each of our three impressive contestants have gotten in their final word. Well, I wish that final word would work for me at my house, but it don't. Anyway, let's stick around because our three finalists get one last chance to show us what they got in their final look, along with the performance by three-time Grammy-winning Neo. Miss Universe returns. Once again for Neo. Each of these three women stand within reach of the title. When we return, it's the moment you've been waiting for all night. We crown the next Miss Universe, so don't go away. Well, welcome back, everybody. Earlier tonight, we welcomed the reigning Miss Universe to this stage. Now it's time for her final walk before passing the crown to another amazing woman. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Universe 2017, Demi Lee Nell Peters. Being Miss Universe exceeded all my expectations. First, 
all the glory goes to my Heavenly Father and Savior, Jesus Christ. To my four parents and my sister, Franya, I am everything I am because of you. Tim, your love and support has endless meaning. To Paula Sugart, thank you for believing in dreams and empowering women worldwide. Sarah, Haley, Sophia, and Kyra, sisters forever. Thank you, Endeavor, Esther, and everyone at the Miss Universe organization. Thank you to all my supporters, Demi Angel, and my beautiful Rainbow Nation, South Africa, and to the next Miss Universe. Live every moment and enjoy every second of this incredible once-in-a-lifetime journey. Thank you, Demi Lee. You have set a very high standard as Miss Universe. And in just a few moments, one of these three contestants will be following in your footsteps. Tall Goldhammer from the accounting firm of Ernst & Young has tallied the votes. All right. Me and you, man. All right. Finalists, it's time. I will now announce the second runner-up. The second runner-up for Miss Universe is Venezuela. Congratulations, Venezuela. Only two women remain, South Africa and Philippines. Please come center stage. Both of you have worked so hard to get here, but only one of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. The new Miss Universe is... Philippines! Miss Universe.